Do you ever wish that there were life hacks that could just completely upgrade your life? Well, today I'm sharing with you 15 hacks or 15 tips that help me every single day make my life so much easier. Welcome back to the Slayer Day podcast. I'm your host, Sandy Glant, and today we are talking about 15 hacks to make your life easier as a busy working mom. So I'm going to dive right in. I know that if you implement just one of these tips, your life is going to get so much easier. So let's dive right in. Okay. Tip number one, establish a morning routine. And I'm going to even go a step further and say, establish a nighttime routine. So you have both the morning and the nighttime routine. So plan out as much as you can prepare the night before streamline your mornings, reduce your stress. It's going to be a game changer, but get that routine in place. Routines are everything like routines are the reason why I feel like my life flows and is easy and I'm able to show up in all of these different areas because I know what I got to do in each of my routines and it's the same thing every single day. So I know it can be redundant, but routines will make you so much happier, will make your life so much easier and will just streamline so much of the work that you don't even have to think about. So number one, establish a morning routine. Bonus, get an evening routine as well. Okay, number two, establish a shared family calendar. So again, you've heard me talk about this on the episode where Jared and I are talking about our sexy calendar planning. Well, this is going to make sure that your busy schedule and your spouse's busy schedule, your kids, the camp, the school, the spouse, the in-laws, everybody is all in the same place and on the same page. So you want to think about important deadlines or travel or events that are coming up. For me, we color code our schedules. So I have mine in pink. I have Jared in blue, the boys are in green, my schedule for my team for my marketing is in yellow, the pageant is in purple. So everything that we need is color coded and it's on my calendar, it's on Jared's calendar, it's on my team's calendar, Jared's assistant. So literally everybody's on the same page. So utilize a shared family calendar and that's going to make your life so much easier. Okay, number three is set up a meal plan. And I know this sounds so simple, you've probably done this before, but what I I love to do now that I'm starting to cook more, you guys. Okay. So I cut out gluten in my diet. So cut out gluten. It's only been a few days, but if you've been watching my Instagram stories, you'll know that I cut out gluten. It has given me so much energy. I don't feel weighed down. I feel just thinner and lighter. So gluten is gone. Bye-bye gluten. So what I've started to do now is obviously I'm cooking more and I'm not the chef in our family. Jared is the chef. So what I've been starting to do is plan out what I'm making for the kids. I've been planning out what our meals are. So usually now, like, so I always cook breakfast and then now I'm doing dinners. So I'm finding like these really easy meals to make and they have to meet three requirements for me to make them. Because like I said, I don't cook. So if I do, they have to meet these three requirements. They've got to be healthy. It's got to be easy to make and it's got to be easy to clean up. So those are my three requirements. So that being said, a lot of the time I'm doing meals that are like sheep pan meals or I have another tip that I'm going to get into it. So I don't want to give it away just yet, but being able to set up a meal plan and say like, this is what we're doing Monday and this is Tuesday's dinner and this is Wednesday's dinner just makes so I can plan everything out ahead of time and prepare for everything also that I need to get. So I can do, you know, get all of the ingredients that I'm going to need to get and make sure I have the sauces or the, just whatever the ingredients are. So I can plan the entire week's worth of meals and have everything ready. So that's tip number three, set up a meal plan, know what you're going to be eating. And then it's also really cool because you can find different recipes and try out new recipes with other recipes you know you love and just kind of mix and match and play with them. So tip number three, set up a meal plan. These next couple of meals, my next one, two, three, three tips are all kind of go together. So the next thing is tip number four is meal prep on weekends. So typically the weekends are less chaotic for us. So this is when Jared likes to barbecue. Now I'm starting to cook. Like I prepped all of my overnight oats yesterday. And at the time that you're hearing this, it's going to drop on a Wednesday, but now using the weekends to like prep out everything that's coming, like the overnight oats and just kind of getting everything prepped on the weekend. So I have it for the week. And I know that like, if you've heard me talk about this before, you probably know this tip, but it's something that I feel like we say, but it's another thing to do it. So I'm just taking it a step further because now I'm not just doing my dinners. I'm now doing my breakfast or I'm just making sure I have hard boiled eggs ready, like the foods that I really want to eat. So I'm always staying away 
from the stuff that I don't want to eat. Okay. My next tip is online grocery shopping. Oh my gosh, you guys, I use Instacart like at least three times a week minimum. Okay. So I use it for everything from Costco to Sephora to Publix. I mean, Publix and Costco are kind of like my main ones that I use, but I also use the Amazon app because that will shop for you at Whole Foods. So just having that online grocery app available to literally deliver me. I mean, I know they do Best Buy. They do, like I said, Sephora. They do, I mean, the list has grown since I started using it and it's such a time saver. It doesn't waste any time. Like someone else is literally going out and doing your shopping for you. So you pick what you want on the app. So easy. And it shows up at your door and all you have to do is put it away. It's game changer. So it saves me so much time and I get to work and be in my business or be with my kids while someone's shopping for me. So it's a win-win situation. So utilize online grocery shopping. The next tip that I want to share with you is create a designated drop-off zone. So you guys have seen me do videos before where I share with you kind of like when you first come into our house, we have our keys, we have our shoes, we have like the kids book bag during the school year, umbrellas. So it's the place where everyone can kind of come in and put their stuff. That's all in one spot. So it's just a designated drop-off zone. You set the zone where you need it to be, whether it's the laundry room, in the garage, by the front door. Just have that space where the bags go, the essentials, so you can have them in the same spot every single time. You can drop them, pick them up, and you know they're not going to be upstairs, in the bathroom, in your jeans. <laughs> like You have that space where everything will be set for you to grab and go. And that is such a game changer. So make sure you have that designated drop-off space somewhere in your house. Okay, the next tip that I want to get into is that we just started doing this this year, and this is delegating household chores. So yes, we do have someone come in a couple times a week and they do like the deep clean in our home. Literally like I have got little kids. So the second something's clean, it's a mess again. But what we started incorporating over the summer is the kids having their own chores. So for example, Jake is about to turn six and he makes his bed in the morning. He even does the dishes. They both have to clean up the playroom. He does have to do some schoolwork in the summertime. That's part of his chores list. The laundry, like their dirty laundry has to be in their hamper. They can do that. Also picking out their clothes, getting themselves dressed. My youngest just turned three, so he's not quite getting himself dressed yet, but he can pick out his clothes. He actually prefers it. So having this just delegated chores list makes them so independent. I love this because it really fosters the sense of independence and allows them to be proud of what they're doing. Like I went into Jake's room to help him make his bed. I think it was like the first morning we started this and he's like, no, 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 mommy, don't touch it. Like I want to do it all by myself. And it just like, you can see he's so proud of himself that he's doing it. Even if it's not hundred percent perfect the way I would do it, he's still doing it. And I want him to gain that independence from it. So I'm so proud and I'm so happy that he does this because it's something that, you know, like I think we as parents were like, oh my gosh, it's just easier to do it ourselves or our kids aren't doing it perfectly. Like I don't need him to do it perfect. I just want him to know he's responsible for these things. And same thing with Jordy, like age appropriate that they can do, they can pick up and clean and have that independence and feel that sense of it's something that they've accomplished. So that is my tip for you. Number seven, delegate those household chores. And also it makes it a lot easier on mom. So you're not the only one picking up the clothes doing the laundry, doing the dishes, and it just makes for lighter work for everybody around the house. Okay, tip number eight is to establish a family command center. So in our laundry room, we have a command center and it is half whiteboard, half like push pin and like mail drop. So in this command center, we have a couple things. Number one, we have our calendar. So when we do our sexy calendar planning, that's its home. It gets to stay there and it's all color coordinated and it's in the laundry room so anyone can go in and see when we're traveling or when to pick up and drop offs are just like all the schedules are in there and then also that's where the mail drop box goes so whoever's bringing in the mail it's not scattered all over the counter it gets to go in the mail drop off box and then jared and i look at it and then handle it however appropriately it needs to be handled whether it's a bill or like birthday cards things like that so everything is all in one space the schedules 
the calendar, the mail. And this is the best thing because it's not scattered all over. It has one command center place to be and everybody knows where it's at. So this we've been doing, man, for, I don't know, a few years now, just having this like command center drop space spots for important documents and notices, reminders, little notes that we need to write to each other. So having that command center is really, really just so helpful just in our day-to-day -day life. Okay, number nine, we are just flying through these. I love this because I wanted to like get in, give you guys these tips and get out. And this is something that like for me makes my life so much easier because it's just almost like automating your life. Like you know the things that you need to do and if you can get them on repeat and you can get them on a system and you can get them on a rotation in a schedule, everything gets easier. So this is why I'm sharing with you these tips for me. There's so many more than these 15, but it is again, really important that these tips you incorporate in your own way, right? So like if you hear me talking about a command center or the chores, like you make this in your own way that's going to fit for your family. Okay, so tip number nine, and this goes back into my cooking and trying to cook more for my family, but this is using a slow cooker or the Instapot. Also, I'm gonna add to that list the air fryer. I have all three of these. I also have them linked in my Amazon store. Game changer, you guys. So between sheet pan meals, Instapot, air fryer, and slow cooker, you have all your bases covered. It's like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Dinner is done and set. You can forget or it's done in like the matter of 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and you have healthy meals for you, the kids, you can prep it, you can make it that same night. It's just like these appliances, oh my gosh, game changer for a busy mom. Because at the end of the day, it's minimal effort, but you have everything ready to go. Like I, I'm obsessed now, and like I said, I have this link to my Amazon store with my air fryer, Instapot, slow cooker, air fryer, like these are all things that have just made my life so much easier. And just, I don't know. I, I just find now when I do my sheep hand meals, like dinner doesn't take me any more than 20 minutes now. And I know that there's some moms that like to cook these big dinners and like, that's great, more power to you. I never like to cook. So for me doing this makes my life so much easier. Number 10, this is also a big game changer that is something that I just found out about. And this is gas that comes to your home, okay? It's called Easy Fill. I'm gonna link them in the show notes. If you are in South Florida, Easy Fill will literally come to your home and pump your gas for you, okay? This is a game changer. You just schedule it on the app. They come to your home and they pump your gas for you. Game changer. And again, like I wish I would have had this forever ago. It's kind of like Instacart and Uber, but for your gas. So check out the show notes. I'll drop the link there. And also if you use this link, you get $20 towards your first tank. So that's really cool too. Okay, my next tip for you is, and I'm actually gonna combine because I have like four tips that I want to share with you, but they all go under the same umbrella. And this is anticipate what your future self will need. And when I say this, the reason why I'm chunking this all under the same umbrella is because it all falls under this category. So it's setting the coffee pot for the morning, setting out your work clothes, your vitamins, the kids clothes for the next day, look ahead on your calendar and know what is coming up. Never leave the sink full of dishes. So when you come downstairs in the morning, you have this full, you know, dirty, like just pile of dishes from the night before, right? So like, it's like all of these things that your future self will thank you for. Do the dishes now. So my future self will thank me later. Set out the clothes. So my future self will thank me later. Set the coffee pot. So my future self will thank me later. I even buy toys and games because I know that the kids are going to be invited to birthday parties and I'll keep them like boys gifts, girls gifts. I'll keep them in the house with extra like cards and wrapping paper and gift bags because I know I probably probably won't have time to order something if it's last minute, if it's like an extra, you know, we're going to a birthday party, something like that. So I keep these things on hand because I know my future self is going to thank me for it. So I can wrap, you know, this final number up for you with a nice little bow and just say, what will your future self thank you for later? Whether it's laying out the clothes, setting out the vitamins, buying the gifts, like look ahead on the calendar, see when you're going to birthday dinners, anniversary dinners, like all of these things kind of like we know we have to go to, but then it happens and it comes up really fast and you're like, oh shoot, I wish I had a gift or I wish I had something for this. And you can just prepare ahead of time because the more prepared you are now, the more you get to enjoy life, the more freedom you have. 
and you don't have to worry about scrambling at the last moment, right? So it's really important that like, as we set ourselves up for success, as we, you know, can kind of future cast and say like, what's coming up? What do I need to focus on? All of these things, all of these tips that I'm giving you are all life-changing hacks that are going to upgrade your life today now to make your life easier, right? And I know for me, like I have so much going on in the mom bucket, in the wife bucket, in the business bucket, in all these different areas. And we're not even in school time right now. We're in summertime still. So there's so much that's just going on that I know my future self will thank me for if I can get this in, kind of get a handle on it ahead of time and plan for it and maybe systemize it or set something up that's like a recurring. Like I know this is another bonus that I'm going to add on top. I know for me, like I drink the same protein shake every single morning when I work out. So guess what? I have that protein shake on Amazon, which I also have in my store, in my storefront. I have that on an auto ship because I don't have to think, oh, every two weeks I need to order this. I know that it's going to just automatically show up, you know? So just again, think about what your future self is going to need, like anticipate that before you're even going to need it. And oh my gosh, you guys, game changer. You're going to actually buy yourself more time because it's like I tell my clients, if there's something that you do more than once, you have to automate it. Otherwise you're just expending so much time and effort and energy into something that can be automated that you can just set, forget, and it'll show up or you can set, forget, and it'll be taken care of for you. So these are all things like every single one of these tips that I've given you, this can be something that your future self is like, I know I'm going to need to do this more than once. So let me get a system for it. Let me automate it. And this is what I coach on. This is what I teach on. But in life, you know, there's certain things that we can't just automate and press a button and it shows up. So this is why we create systems. This is why we have routines. This is why we have schedules, right? To make life so much easier. So I hope today's episode allows you to start thinking like, what are the things in my life? Like, what are those areas that I am showing up in on a daily basis or on a consistent basis that you can start to create patterns for, that you can start to create systems for? Because the more you can do that, the more freedom you have and the more you get to say yes to and fully show up. So I hope these tips helped you. Again, like I said, these are 15 or more tips that I incorporate in my own life for my family, in my business. And as I incorporate more of these tips and just implement them in my own life, I'm going to share them with you. So I would love for you to screenshot this episode. Let me know one of two things. Let me know, number one, which tip you're going to implement. Or number two, if you have a tip, I would love to hear from you what's something that you automate or have on a routine or a schedule that really helps you to maximize your time, free up more of your time and allow you to slay your day.